Hi, welcome to this series on feature engineering for data science and machine learning. In this video, we'll be focusing on one more method uh, in filter category. As you know, feature selection methods focus on uh, individual columns, uh, ranging from describing the columns and uh, patterns and the association between columns and the predicted and the predictors and the response variable. And thereby, it enables us to uh, find out the required data set or reduce set of features for our machine learning model. So in today's video, I'll be covering one more uh, method uh, in, under you know, univariate uh, feature selection that is called chi-square test. We have already covered uh, um, you know, the t-test and ANOVA in, uh, in the previous video. In this session, I'll be covering chi-square test. Chi-square test is uh, one more hypothesis testing, and it is for categorical variables. Let's get into the details of chi-square test. Some of these scenarios, for example, you know, you have a couple of uh, categorical variables, and you would like to investigate if there is any significant correlation or association between the two categorical variables. For example, gender and the preference for product category. So for example, here male and female, is there any specific uh, or is there any prominent uh, pattern that the males buy electronics and females buy more books? So that's the kind of uh, you know tests that we uh, do with chi-square tests. Some more examples here. Uh, scenario is educational research, and the chi-square test can be used to explore association between the the student performance and the um, the study pattern or study habit. For example, the study hours per week, low, moderate, high, and the performance outcome or categories can be pass, fail, and dissection. And if you, would, you, if you would like to associate or find out association uh, between these two categories, we use chi-square. One more example here, uh, let's say market research and uh, you, know, you have age groups of buyers, uh, 18 to 24 and so on and so forth. And you can call these age groups like A, B, C, and is there any preference for streaming services like you know from netflix or so depending on the age group is there any evidence that you know certain age group prefers netflix and certain other age group prefers amazon prime so these are the uh, objectives uh, you know solved by uh, chi square tests so let's uh, do some worked out example to illustrate the working of chi square test for example, let's say there is a task and we would like to find out if there is any significant association between the type of mobile devices that people use, let's say iOS, Android, and some other. And is there any preference for uh, mobile apps depending on the device? Let's say certain users uh, you know, with Android, they prefer social media applications and certain uh, you know, user category with and with iOS device, they prefer games, for example. So if you have to find out the association of this type, we have to use a chi-square test. So observe data. So uh, let's say we have some 150 samples. Uh, the data is uh, ranging from users having all these kind of devices, and these are the applications installed. And they are they are the count or like you know how many you know Android or how many Android users use games that's 15. How many iOS users use utilities that's 10. So that's the observed data. And uh, we're going to formulate the hypothesis as the first step that there is no association between the you know mobile devices and the mobile apps. And that's the null hypothesis, no association. And the counter hypothesis is, yes, there is some association between the two. So now, using the observed frequency and uh, this formula, we calculate the expected frequency. 
essentially the um, idea is to pick uh, the row total this one and multiply by the column total which is this one divided by the grand total for each of the cell so for this one you're going to get the corresponding expected frequency for this one you're going to get the corresponding expected frequency based on the row total and the column total so we're going to compute the expected frequency table from the observed frequency table and then what we need to do is use the observed frequency uh, and the expected frequency table uh, for example uh, the top one is your observed this is your expected and then we use the observed value minus the expected and square it divided by so that gives you chi square so this is called chi square this notation is chi square notation and total chi square is summing all the chi square value and that returns the chi calculated chi square or statistic from the chi square function and the algorithm is going to use this chi square value to um, you know then compare with the critical value from the chi square distribution or it is also used to give us the probability value we can make use of probability value to conclude or we can make use of the chi square value against the critical value to conclude so the analysis is based on the data that we have uh, you know obtained so far uh, if you if you are doing chi square manually then you have to also compute the degrees of freedom so here is the number of rows which is basically 3 and the number of columns is also 3 if you look at the pivot table or contingency table and subtract 1 1 and then that's the degree of freedom that's what we need when we refer uh, to a chi distribution for the critical value significance level as we have uh, used in t test and on over the 5% uh, you know line as a significance level and the four degrees of freedom the critical value is this that means if your chi square is more than 9.49 then that means you are in the rejection region and you can reject the null hypothesis and opposite is a uh, p value is less than 0.05 then you can reject the null hypothesis there are certain assumptions here over chi square tests uh, this is only for categorical data and the sample should be independent expected frequency should be at least greater than 5 for each cell the expected frequency to, should be greater than 5 otherwise the results are not so reliable random sampling is required and the categories are mutually exclusive large sample size uh, for asymptotic validity that means is more valid with a slightly larger sample size next we're going to look at a uh, simple python implementation and we'll see how we implement chi square test so demo the chi square test i'm using a uh, data called loan loan data and uh, this is the same data set that we used in the anova as well so load the data here and uh, this is in my local uh, directory i'll be uh, also you know providing the link to this data set in the description below read the data and most of this data would be you know categorical uh, there are some numerical data which we can remove it there are few null values as well so get rid of the null values and uh, convert it to the object column you could loan amount term and credit history uh, they are somehow like you know numeric value so we just convert it to an object column in fact making it categorical in nature okay and then now we can exclude the numeric column and uh, pick only the categorical column so these are my categorical column for example let's say we do a chi square between gender and loan status this is the contingency table and the null hypothesis is there is no association between the gender and the loan status that means uh the loan status does not differ based on the gender like male or female so 
chi square is part of your scipy so use the scipy package import chi square chi square contingency with the you know the cross tab that we just did and the uh, chi square test is against the uh, between the loan status and the gender and it returns the p value which is point zero which is 0 0.19 and uh, this is not less than 0 0.05 that means you will not be able to reject it that means the null hypothesis holds that means there is no association between the loan status and the um yeah just a second what is the low what is the uh, uh yeah so there is no association between the gender and the loan status right so that holds true uh, that means no association, right? So we are not able to reject the null hypothesis. So we are saying there is no association. So I had wrongly mentioned here no association between gender, uh, gender column and alone status. But likewise, uh, you can do it with all the categorical column apart from uh, the gender. So against the loan status and run the chi square and uh, wherever you know you find the value less than you know 0 0.05 you can have a comment to keep or drop okay so this gives you an ability or one more method to uh, say whether certain columns should be eliminated dropped or you know kept in the model that was a demo on uh, a square test i hope you uh, liked the demo and next, uh, we'll talk about one more method in the filter category, which is called select K best.